Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, and we're specifically going to talk about um, Dungeons & Dragons Rules versus Dungeon Master Fiat, and we're going to take a lesson from Joe Biden, who just uh, dealt with exactly this problem, right? Should you follow the rules or should you use your own given authority, right? So, uh, President Biden, he is bound by the Constitution, right? Uh, But he's given authority to ignore it when he he wants, to literally to ignore the Constitution when he wants. He just used this authority, right? And it's a powerful lesson for, for every dungeon master, right? Because we're dungeon masters and we are bound by the, um, by the Dungeons and Dragons rules, but at the same time, we're given authority to ignore those rules or change those rules when we want to, right? In, in what's supposed to be very limited circumstances. It's the exact same thing with, uh, with Joe Biden's uh, executive power. He is given the authority to, uh, to ignore the Constitution in very limited doses and in really narrow circumstances, all right, so let's talk about what Joe Biden did. Let's learn the harsh, harsh lessons that were learned almost immediately after Joe took his uh, his actions, and let's see, let's apply them to our, you know, to our lives because we're doing the same thing that the president is doing. He's running a nation; we're running a world, right? All right. So here's what happened. Uh, okay, so uh, 2020 debacle, 2020 mask debacle comes, right? It's horrible. Everybody's like, what's the source of this? We can no longer, uh, like, hug people and shake hands. This is horrible. Oh, no, right? So that comes out, right? Well, And uh, a ton of people lost their jobs. The world's upside down. And this is all American. All America. Uh, all, it's all America specific because we're talking about the U.S. president, right? So, um, so what happens, right? So basically, um, a lot of people are not able to pay their bills because they stopped, they couldn't work, right? Like, now if you were in tech, this generally wasn't a problem, but, uh, which I'm in tech, that's the only reason I'm saying it. Uh, but a lot of people don't work in tech, right? So they, had, you know, they couldn't go do their jobs or, you know, they went and tried and it was horrible and then they quit, right? And all of a sudden, there's like literally millions and millions and millions of Americans who cannot pay their rent, Okay. So Joe Biden's like, hey, rent, uh, we're putting a more moratorium on evictions. Remember in the old days where if you didn't pay your rent, you got kicked out of your house? No longer. Uh, 2020 mass debacle means you don't have to deal with that anymore, right? So, but, you know, now, is it uh, is it constitutional for me as the president to say contracts don't matter anymore? No, it's not, right? But we got an emergency, and I have emergency powers, and I'm the president, and I can ignore this, Right? So he's like, and so he said, in this circumstance, for this limited amount of time, right? Which is totally his right. Okay, now let's link this back to Dungeon Masters and uh, uh, to Dungeon Master Fiat, right? And D&D rules. All right, so where does this idea that we, that Dungeon Masters can ignore the Dungeons and Dragons rules, right, come from? Where does it it come from? It comes from right in the game, right? I can tell you exactly. I just read it, right? It's from the Dungeon Master Guide. It's on page four. Okay, and uh, so it comes up right away, right? And it's very simple. It's like, hey, these rules aren't in charge. You're in charge, right? So you got 750 pages of rules between the DMG, the MM, the monster. I'm now, you know, I'm paraphrasing here, but this is generally what it says. You got you got 750 pages of rules between the monster manual and the um, the monster manual, the P, the the player's handbook, and the dungeon master guide, right? But you're not bound by these rules. You can change them when you need to, right? But the issue, but so it says it once on page four, but then all the rest of the books are a bunch of rules, right? So we're in the exact same circumstance. We can change anything we want. But when we do, boy, oh boy, do we reap the whirlwind, which is exactly what Joe Biden did. All right, so so Joe Biden, let's get back to him, right? So the moratorium comes up. And, uh, and basically, uh, the government's like, oh, hey, you know what? Uh, evictions are going to start again. People are going to get uh, chucked out of their house because they didn't pay their rent. And you can't stop it because, like, that was an extended period of time. That period, that period of time is over. So this is the first. I've never seen this in my entire life, right? This is, this is new, right? I ain't never seen this. So what happened, right? So what happened was... 
they they got a situation where, um, yeah, it was I really it was truly truly incredible. I've never seen a situation like this where what happened was that essentially it it went down to it and it was uh, it was a situation where they were like, hey, um, sorry, yeah, so. What a, so oh that's right so basically uh, he President Biden wanted it to go on longer than than it was supposed to right but basically he he said you know what I'm going to extend the moratorium I'm going to make sure that sure that nobody is kicked out right people are like wait Joe Biden you can't do that because it's that's against the Constitution for you to take this into a, like an, a pretty much indefinite amount of time right and he's like well guess what I know it's unconstitutional. This is the new part. No, I've never seen a president do this in the entire in my entire fifty years on this planet. Right? Uh, he he said, "I know this is unconstitutional. I don't care. I'm going to let this ride out and tell and let the court say it's unconstitutional, and I'll use that period of time to get what I want during that short period of time. I'm going to ignore the rules. Right? Now." That was great. He got exactly what he wanted, right? Like the the eviction moratorium stopped, and uh, it went to court, and they were like, "Yeah, this is straight, you know, straight on constitutional. No heck to the way, right? Like, no, this ain't good, right?" And Joe's like, "Nah, it's no problem. I ignored the constitutionality because I wanted to, and because it wasn't important for what I needed at the moment. Constitution, ah, what's that, right? You know, like, come on, right?" So he's like, "Constitution ain't important, right? As long as I can get what I want for a few more weeks, great, right?" Now here's so so he wins the day on eviction moratoriums. Here's what happens next. Texas goes, uh, there's this 1973 constitutional rule uh, that we don't like in Texas. So we're gonna do some arcane wizardry on our laws and make it so that this constitutional law don't apply in Texas. Not functionally, it's still here in the spirit of the law, but because of the numbers, we're gonna make it so this 1973. U.S. constitutional law, right, which was established in 1973 that people have liked for a long time. Well, people on the on the blue side, not not so much on the red side, right? Uh, he's like, hey, um, we we done, right? Like uh, the, the, Texas, like we ain't doing it no more, not in our state, right? And all of a sudden, Joe Biden and all all the blue, all Joe Biden's blue Dem- Democrats are like, oh, hey. The constitutional laws are super important. I know we just got done ignoring them, but they're really important, especially this 1973 one. And maybe we should follow the Constitution on this one. And I was like, wow, that swung around fast. <laughs> like, you're like, oh, Constitution didn't matter a week ago, but now it does. Uh, it's, it's That's really fascinating, right? So what does this teach us about the about our DM, our DM fiat? It teaches us a lot, right? Whatever rule you put into place, right, because you don't like one particular weapon or you don't like how one race works or you don't like how one spell works, right, you best be recognized that's going to swing around and people are going to ask you to change other things. So we have to use our Dungeon Master Fiat extremely carefully and in incredibly limited circumstances for limited time and we have to be honest, right? Like, we can't be like, oh, Constitution, be darned, because I need something for two weeks, right? And I think I think Joe Biden was, it was, he used his Dungeon Master Fiat poorly, right? And I am convinced that what this actually teaches us is that Dungeon Masters should be using Dungeon, Dungeon Master Fiat on less than 2% of all rules in the game. And when they do it, they need to be incredibly key, clear and careful as they communicate it. And only the worst dungeon masters fiat more than once every three months right and that the better you become as a dungeon master you use fiat not at all you run the game as it was designed by gary as it was carried forward by menser as it was carried forward by Hainsu, as it was carried forward by tweet as it was carried forward by merles and as it's carried forward by winninger today right You do not step away from those rules or you will suffer exactly the same swing around wrath that caught Joe Biden and all of his allies right in the face, right? They're like, oh, Constitution be darned, right? Oh, no, look at Texas. Maybe the Constitution matters, right? Like, 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 it was so fast, right? So 
the reality is you should stay on the D&D rules and use your DM fiat incredibly carefully in only the slightest circumstances for the slightest period of time. And if you do not, and you run off like making whatever rules you want in Dungeons and Dragons, using your DM fiat like it's a magic wand, you're going to catch the whirlwind right quick. Joe Biden just taught it to us. Well, that's my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please uh, consider like subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.